Hey everyone, John here, and in celebration of Chicago's 2015 blizzard, I thought I would create a cool preset to convert snowy scenes to black and white. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but it happens to me a lot. Uh, I'll take a photograph outside, and it'll be a snowy scene, and I get back in post, and it's a little underexposed. And the reason for that is, is the camera meters a scene, and it sees it being very bright, and so it basically underexposes it a little bit. The trick is in the field, you should really use exposure compensation and take it up two thirds to a full stop to kind of compensate uh, for this metering. But sometimes you forget or you're not as worried about it. And, and this was a case the particular day that I was out last year. And so I create a preset that's gonna convert this to black and white as well as make an adjustment for the exposure and the contrast. And, and from there you can do with it whatever you want. So. Right now, as you can notice, just here in the basics panel, everything's zeroed out. This is my preset that I'm gonna make available to you to download off the newsletter. And when we click on it, you'll notice it's a drastic change. So three quarter stop increase, highlights are being reduced here so we can kind of protect them so they're not blown out. Uh, and then we're increasing the whites and the blacks to add a little contrast. Now, anytime I create a preset, I like to test them on similar images, uh, just make sure it's effective. And like I said, this is going to vary. The exposure in particular particular will vary uh, by your image, and you can make adjustments to it. If this is too bright, just make an adjustment like that. Come over to the preset that you're going to download, right-click on it, and then update with current settings. Um, let's take this photograph. Stacy was doing a little macro in the field. Let's click on the preset. You know, it does a really nice job here. And I, and I think if I were to decrease this, I don't like it as much, it's not as contrasty. So I'm gonna take it back uh, to its original 0.75 for exposure. So that's a really good uh, use of the preset there. And then this scene, which doesn't have as much snow, but it's kind of gloomy, uh, if you will, the same. We'll use the preset. And it, looked, it looks really good here. Maybe a little bit of highlight recovery there you'd want to use to bring the highlights in the sky back down, but overall, uh, it's a good use. So this is what I call a successful preset because it works generally well for all the images. No one preset is going to be a slam dunk for every image, but it gets you kind of 85% of the way there. So I hope you like the preset. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email at johnatbatdorfphotography.com or hit up the blog at johnbatdorf.com. Thanks a lot.